probably last week actually his name is uh well I'll call him Seku B and I'll ask him to uh, give us the details of his real name because I'm sure that's the stage name. Well, I must say welcome to the studio, Seku B. Welcome, how are you? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for just gracing us in the studio. We want to get straight into just getting to know who Seku B is, your real name and uh, what you actually do. Okay, my name is uh, Gabriel Guini and Seku B mm-hmm. is just a stage name. Actually, Seku B, it came from uh, Sekuru a Blessing. Oh, I've, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I've had my Muzukuru called Blessing. So the Seku, it came from Sekuru a Blessing. So I decided to call myself Seku B in this music cycle. Okay. Well, tell us a bit about what you do. I do know you've got a track that I happen to know called uh, Pupura, but I'm sure you've done quite uh, some work as well before that. So we just want to know what do you do? You sing? Do you write? Do you do everything? You know, it just uh, would be interesting to hear from you and then get to also know what sort of challenges you may have uh, experienced in what you're doing. Okay, yeah, um, uh, I did this single called Pupura. This is the latest single from my recent uh, my, my, my album, which I'm working on right now. But I did uh, an album called I'm Saved last year, uh, which I featured the likes of uh, Aaron Rusukira. Mm-hmm. On the song Angafa Mindoga, mm-hmm. and I featured uh, uh, the the group called uh, the Voice. Uh, it's it's a, it's a group. It's an a cappella group. Okay. Uh, which I sing with. Uh, so. The Voice, you say. Sorry. They called the Voice. Yeah, the Voice. Mm, so okay. I'm part of the the, the group, uh-huh. and right now I'm working on my album. Uh, the single is already out, Pupura, and the rest of the album will, will be out maybe in a month's time. In a month's time, that would be in February, because yeah. we'll take you to task. We will follow <laughs> up. and <laughs> Yes, uh, very soon if the management uh, decide when exactly to release, everyone will know that the album is now coming out. Okay, but uh, we know this is not your first album. Yes, it's not my first album. Tell us uh, about the other one. L- lately, I used to sing uh, secular music all along. This is my s- uh, seventh album. And then from Excuse last year, me? <laughs> it's your seventh album. This is my seventh album. Uh, okay. Long ago, I used to sing secular music. Okay. And then last year, that's when I did my turning point. When what I happened? When I released the album, I'm saved. Wh- what actually happened to you? Is that when you also received Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? It's not like that. Mm-hmm. I used to be a Christian long ago, but okay. as a producer, I'm a okay. producer as well. Mm-hmm. As a producer, I used to produce any, any different anything. Different projects, okay. Yeah, I hear you. Especially when I encountered with uh, different artists to I hear sing you. different music. Mm-hmm. So, last year I decided I have to, to stick to one thing. I, I cannot like serve two masters at one time, so I decided to stick on gospel only. And okay. then that's when I came up with the album, I'm Saved. And then from there, I uh, on what Seku B will be doing gospel only. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you finding it so far after deciding to take that route? Uh, is there a difference? Do you see um, maybe any growth in your own uh, personal life? There's a very big difference. Yeah, actually, the, the album, I'm Saved, it did well on, on radio and mm-hmm. in the market scene. And this single, up uh, Pupura, it's actually doing well as well. So, as I can say to myself, uh, I'm doing well, especially in this side of gospel thing. Okay, I'm going to ask you to introduce a song. We just want to take a listen to maybe the first track on your previous uh, album, and then you'll tell us a bit about that song and uh, what inspired it. Okay, this song, uh, it's called Adinga Fambindoga. That's the song which uh, made me sing, stick to gospel mm-hmm. uh, forever. Okay. And I featured uh, uh, Aaron Rusukira on mm-hmm. that track. Okay. And uh, it, it's like our Kwanse Kufamba Woga in this uh, world, mm-hmm. you need God to guide you in the way. Okay. So I came up with this track, Aninga Fambindoga. All right, we'll take a listen to that. What in the Fantasina? What in the Paradandiri Poor? The Varandiras, the Ramaka, Udarikam Pura, Matinde Chupa, the Chomunda Mangu, our Masho Makudarika Makudari Mukomo, Arikuinga Mundawang, Pavo, and this Kurotan de Kuavona, Bandaiti Shangari, Wanti Patisa Kuno Chaka Komunondo, Wanti Isiranduru Muchumuta Mafuta, Vaisa Ifumuda Nero Wufu, Wanti Rapa Mesone Miripi. Wanti beretsa kuyo 
Wati ngadi shambire tende miri kwa sabe Kindo tora maputa havana Avo Andi sikuro changiri kubabona Andi kafampi njoka Kidi kuwa njoka Shemu sandisiye Andi kafampi njoka Kwete Kwete Mundi tunga mirire Uye mundi zivise Andi nga nyengedwe Kwete Ninga famindoka, famindoka, ishendi nochka. Ninga famindoka, famindoka, tunga mira. Chao vamo kasa mira neni, tia nunga mira neni habo. Abo, Jehova kamba ini, tandis sepuluh tandis ribu abona. That's a very poetic uh, track. That one, Aninga Fambindoga. What uh, was uh, going through your mind when you came up with this track? Actually, some of the things that were, were happening in my life. Okay. Especially when I used to do uh, secular music, things were not like um, going well in mm-hmm. my life. And I, I was a church person, mm-hmm. so I, I, it was eating in my in my head. Like I cannot do secular music. God gave me a powerful voice. Okay. So I had to, <laughs> to, to waste my voice singing for God. I love the way conviction can just continue within (laughs) yourself and you just have this conversation going on within yourself. Yes. And you know that you just have to obey what God says. Exactly. (laughs) So it's like by creation we are God's and and by redemption we are His. So I I decided to stick to gospel and praise the Lord the rest of my life singing gospel. So it it was a a, a big uh, turning back in my life. Uh, uh, living uh, secular music mm-hmm. to, to gospel, and and I saw well, things, well done for actually being able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw things are uh, opening, and things are now okay. We thank God life. for that. Yes, we thank God for that. So, uh, tell me, are there any challenges that uh, you have faced in the industry as a whole, and uh, if there are any ideas that you also have on uh, how this could be improved upon? Yeah, th- there are so many challenges actually in marketing music. Mm-hmm. and getting to, to the people to, to, to receive your music very well and sometimes people to, 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 to make people uh, to convince people to, to support you okay. is a very big thing and I hear uh, you. as a producer sometimes when you come up with a piece people will say ah, no this is not okay mm-hmm. and you go back to the studio you start working on, on it and uh, there are so many things. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, do you see any solutions to this? I mean, because we have heard quite a lot about this, you know. It's something that's been going on for some years now. But I'm just trying to think, as an artist, as a producer yourself, uh, w- are you working on anything at all to find ways to improve? Are you maybe also just uh, collaborating with other artists and uh, looking at ways to yes. kind of get the industry to be more vibrant than it might be right now? Yes, that's why I came with the song Pupura. It's mm-hmm. like I was uh, praising the Lord for, okay. uh, for what He has done in my life. Right. I was like testifying <laughs> what God has done in, in, in my life. Amen. And, and a, a lot of collaborations, they are, they are on my way. Like I did the Traika with uh, an artist from Gwanda called Samo Sokosi. Okay. And last week I was collaborating with No Zembe. And wow. A lot of big artists, I'm, I'm, I'm in connection with them. Mm-hmm. And even Pastor G, I'm, I'm connecting with him in, in a social page. Uh, so, actually, things are, are quite well. Okay. In, in, in oh, that's lovely. But uh, tell me, in terms of collaborations, you're talking about someone in Gwanda. How, how does uh, someone in Harare and someone in Gwanda, you know, so how, how do you kind of connect with someone in Gwanda and, and actually be able to do something together? And I'm asking this question because you'll have uh, some artists that are upcoming and they would love to just uh, also do the same thing, be able to interact with other artists, be able to collaborate and so forth. Uh, what's the way? H- how would one be able to? achieve this what's the best way actually to me it's it's a bit easy because i've got a studio okay and i i sacrifice like uh if an artist coming all the way from guanda mm-hmm. oh, uh, he needs accommodation i have to provide for that 
because as a producer i've got the heart to promote upcoming okay. and to help other artists which are in need of coming up with their own music hmm. so I, I i sacrifice a lot to to make things happen and uh with this technology there's a, like a mobile you can you can more you can make a mobile studio Mm-hmm. whereby you can tran- absolutely tran- travel to mm, it's made it all a very small village and, and do <laughs> the recordings and then you okay. come back to the studio you mm. do the rest of the stuff okay yeah. well uh, any parting words i would uh, really want to just hear from you what you can say to someone out there that like to do what you're doing maybe very quickly just keys to being a successful worshiper who's just not a musician but uh, is actually someone that's living the life that they're singing about actually in life never give up in what you're doing okay. that's one thing and don't forget to pray mm-hmm. like i said uh, mm-hmm. uh, with, with yourself you can't do nothing okay. you can't do anything actually right. but you need uh, someone to guide you Mm-hmm. You, you need uh, someone to inspire you so whatever you're doing never give up you you you, you might think of giving up while at least you're almost there well so <laughs> what, what i can say keep wow. on pressing no matter things uh get tough and hard mm-hmm. keep on doing what you're doing well uh, thank you so very much for coming to the studio and uh, i must also say thank well congratulations to you your song uh, last week was our number one on our much. charts that's uh, the track pupura so uh, there you have it uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen the man who had our number one our big one for last week uh seku b real name gabriel Guini. <laughs> you see, we get used to the, you know, artist's name and then we don't get to really know your real name. But uh, thank you so much for coming to the studio. Okay, thank you. It's been great. And uh, we're hoping to hear from you with the new album. Can't thank wait you. to sample it yes. and uh, just get it out to the listeners. Okay, thank you.